This is going to be a quick video that I wanted to make because in my last video, I did talk about how the two main ways to get couch potatoes by farming mobs in Grizzleheim and by farming mobs in Mirage or Imperia. But those two places require paid access to be able to get into them or membership. And when I was a free to play player, I actually had a different way of getting couch potatoes. And it was through this limited time telegraph box, five boxes event. So basically what you do is you go in here the one in Wizard City because that's the one that free players have access to. And you basically just fight any of the mobs in there. Every single mob in this dungeon is able to drop it. You just talk to the professor. And this is how I got my first 10 couch potatoes. Back when I was a free to play player, I actually got 10 of them from here. So this event is available for a limited time, but if you spend a lot of time while it's here, you'll be able to get quite a few couch potatoes. I found the drop rates on these guys is actually higher than in Grizzleheim. It's not quite as high as in Mirage Imperia, but I think it's great for free to play players to take advantage of this. So I'm just going to quickly run through it to show you how long it takes to get to the first battle. And I'm going to run this a couple times to show you that it is possible to get them. So you only need to do the first battle because the first battle is already a boss battle. It will have a higher chance of dropping than like a Grizzleheim minion battle anyways. And obviously it will take you a little bit longer if you are actually just in this world and uh, don't have any higher level gear. But you can also farm this with friends. You don't have to solo this. So if you and your free to play friends want some couch potatoes, then you can actually get them from here. So I didn't get any of this run, but all you have to do is quit out, log back in, and then go back into the dungeon. You can also turn the music volume because it's some pretty epic music in this place too. All right, so we didn't get anything this run either, but it doesn't take that long to do. And if you just keep on repeating this process over and over again, I was able to get up to four in just one hour of farming this. And this was back when I was just a free to play player before I had this insane setup where I was able to farm a lot easier. Oh, and you also get a 10% damage boost from Dahlia. And another thing with these dungeons is you can also get these very useful cards for PvP, like Cold Iron. There are other cards too that you can get from some of the higher level 5 boxes. I've done 3 runs so far and I haven't gotten it. I'm going to do 10 total runs and see if I can get them. And this is also a thing you can do if you don't have membership currently, but you do have a higher level wizard that can use these quick attack all enemy spells. If you are higher level, but also don't have a membership right now, then this is a great way to spend your time because it's not a whole lot of commitment. You basically just have to walk in, talk to two people, click spells. So you, you can do this like literally while you're like watching Netflix or whatever you do with your free time. What I used to do is actually while I was doing homework, I'd, I'd be doing homework and like, I'd always be like, you know, clicking this and it would be a great way to get homework done, but also make sure I'm farming in the process. That's four runs done right there. I'm going to do a total of 10. All right, so this is going to be my fifth attempt. I'm actually for my next attempt, I'm actually going to pull up a timer and see exactly how long it takes me to do this from start to finish. Got another Cold Iron Treasure card. All right, so now I'm going to time how long it takes to do one full run. All right, and started. Let's go. And do from start, from logging into your wizard to entering the sigil. All right, so it took us a minute to get into the battle, just about. And then it's probably going to take another minute for the spells to finish casting. Let's see, I'm going to stop the timer, timer as soon as I escape out of my spell book and hit quit. I am also second, so I have to wait for the animation time of their spells too. So it won't always take this long. It will take like maybe like 5-10 seconds less sometimes, but I think the total time should be just under 2 minutes. Alright, so that took us 1 minute 46 seconds. 
so I'm gonna do 10 runs of those. I've done six so far now. Also, one thing to keep in mind is I'm also on a Storm School, and Storm has a very long attack all enemies spell for low pips. If you're a fire or balance, where your spell is like one of the fastest in the games, or your ice where even though it's, it's not the fastest, but it's still way faster than Tempest, you'll be able to farm this like in no time. All right, that was eight runs. All right, nine runs so far, nothing. Even if it is only like a 10% drop rate and I get it like 10 out of 100 runs, that's still a lot of couch potatoes. I think when you average it out, it'll actually end up taking a minute and 40 seconds. So 100 seconds per run. Let's say you do 100 runs. That's around two hours and 47 minutes. So two hours and 47 minutes to get 10 couch potatoes. There we go. There we go. One couch potatoes. So out of 10 runs, I got one couch potatoes. So let's say the drop rate really is 1%. Uh, I mean, uh, sorry, 10%. That's actually definitely higher than the Grizzleheim mobs for one. And second, it just took me around 1,000 seconds to do that. Now, to get to do 100 runs, it'll take you 10,000 seconds. And if you do end up getting 10 and do spend that 2 hours and 47 minutes getting just 10 couch potatoes, this 5 boxes event is going on for probably 3 to 5 days. Today is currently Friday. I'll estimate that it'll end like either Monday or Wednesday. So let's say it does end Monday, which, is, which gives you today, tomorrow, Sunday and Monday. That's four total days to do it. So if you spend around three hours a day for four days, and three hours is a perfectly reasonable amount of time to spend farming if you're a free to play player. Like obviously with what's going on right now, a lot of people are at home right now. So if you spend three hours a day, and again, you don't have to be like completely focused on it. You could literally have Wizard 101 open on a separate tab. If you farm them for three hours a day, four days, you'll be able to get probably 40 couch potatoes and 40 is a lot of couch potatoes. Remember, you get up to two elder harvests per week if you have all the likes and the needs and everything like that taken care of and you come on at the right times. So that gives you 80 mega snacks per week. And remember, with the current amount of pet training that's required to get a pet to mega, it's going to be around 4,000 XP, which takes about 80 mega snacks. So basically, with 40 couch potatoes, you'll be able to get one pet to mega per week. Now, obviously, with how pet fails work and everything like that, it won't be exactly like you won't literally be able to make one amazing mega pet every single week, but it's a great start. And as a free to play player, it puts you way ahead of so many other players by being able to have a lot of couch potatoes. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. Remember, five boxes, you only need to do the first first boss it might also take you longer if you're not like a like i'm a level 100 storm with max critical and this boss was very easy for me to do but if you're a lower level wizard you can still do this and even if you're not going to use this to get a whole ton of couch potatoes like a 40 plot of couch potatoes you can still use it to get your first 10 just like i did and be able to start getting mega snacks to be able to start creating your first usable pets Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and let me know what other kind of videos you want to see. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.